All right, so uh, this is the project where we left off in the previous blog post. So what I will do now is I will add the display module that uh, comes with the starter kit. To my, oh no, not this. Yeah, I guess this is the one. So I'll connect all the modules. Uh, do take note note that uh, make sure you connect this to the hardware and I'm going to rename my module to display again right save this so and uh, I did review on how actually uh, we can uh, design the user interface of our .NET MF applications and I decide to go with the GHI Glide library. So first thing we need to do is to add the library to uh, our uh, our project. We look for look for GHI Glide, and if you don't uh, have this library installed, you can actually download online. It's an open source project. So once you added this. Uh, switch to our project um, program dot C sharp code. Right from here, what we need to do is to add um, the first. We will need to uh, call like dot um, fit to screen so that set it to true and. Uh, and we will need to all right. Uh, we will need to declare a WPF uh, user interface so that we can actually put this uh, user interface to the Glide Win Glide main window. So what we'll do is, uh, as suggest by the Glide uh, tutorial, we will need to add a resources, the text resources. I wish I we can do an XAML. Uh, file but then we have only have the options of text resources so what I'll do since I have only one uh, window or UI in my uh, hardware so I will use this uh, we call this main window text file and in this text file we will need to add in XAM, uh, some XML code something like the WPF XAML code and Thanks to uh, the GHI uh, library, you can actually create this demo code using the online tool. Uh, let's Google GHI like this. Uh, this is the page, right? And uh, once you come to this page, right? Uh, this area is the tool that will help you create the. Uh, user interface and let's switch to full screen mode and first thing I will need to define the window of my user interface as I know my LCD screen is uh, 480 pixels times uh, 272 pixels right and um, let's hit the window Right. Once I hit the enter, the window uh, size increase. Um, then I will need the button, the toggle button. Uh, let's double click. And oops, I created the two. Let's delete this. How do I delete this? Delete. Uh, how do I delete this component? It's not working. Oh, all right. Seems that it's working. All right. Then, then um, I will name this button toggle. And um, let's make this slightly bigger. One thirty pixels width, and uh, put the text. Toggle LED. Uh, let's put all cap. 
get the old Togo LP. And um, I think that's it. I think I miss up 480 pixels behind this width and height 272. This is the original size, and uh, let's put a button here. Um, I will need a text block to show the number of toggle I did. Uh, let's name this uh, text block toggle uh, counter. Uh, make it as big as the button 48 pixels. Make the font bigger, let's say. Yeah, that's good. Well, Alright, uh, since this will display the number, let's start with zero. Let's align them together. Right, basically, that's all we have the uh, basic UI done. And uh, let me check. Uh, how do I make the background look cooler so I understand um, I can make the background look more like a B C E three E seven sorry B C E three E seven right so it looks more like a more subtle background so it looks better all right so i'm going to pause the video for a while so i'm going to all right so with this uh, we are ready to go and once we have this uh, we can copy the xaml code from here show xaml and we'll what I'll do is I'll copy this text here and go back, press the escape button, go back to my Visual Studio and paste the text here. Right? So with this, I created the main window uh, XAML UI. Um, so what I'll need to do is to call that uh, window in my uh, source code and initialize it to my glide screen. Right? Let's declare a window over here. It's by but static uh, static ghi dot like dot display dot uh, window. Let's call this main window, right? And let's get this main window from Glide Loader. So what this Glide Loader will get a window for us. And so how do how does this Glide Loader get a window? It's basically reading the XAML file and convert it into the WPF and generate the uh, UI for us. So I'm going since I re resources dot get um, String resources dot name window, which we uh, this line of code will get the resources from our from this file. Uh, how come it's loading the kind of byte or strings? So ah, I need to convert it into string. Uh, should be resource dot get string resources dot string resources dot name window right okay so once I have this I glide loader will load the window and put it in put it into my variable and then what I'll need to do is to put like uh, main window starting window to this instance right and I will need to 
initialize the touch dot uh, touch dot initialize so this will initialize the touch uh, panel so far let's try to compile right so far hope everything works well right yeah we've succeeded so what i i miss here is i have yet oh looks like i have a button toggle defined here um guess i will need to name my uh this um how do i rename this button uh, let's put this uh btn Toggle text box counter where you save them and uh, all right so I need to wire up the event of this uh, button and update the text box when there's a click to the to the UI button right so what I will need to do here is uh, let's get the button from the UI variable. Mm, let's. It's always have better have, if I can have. Uh, uh, I but uh, I dot UI dot UI dot button. Let's call this VPN toggle. I but I dot UI dot UI. Remember our text block, so let's need this counter. Right? So I'm, we need to get uh, auto equal to let's get this uh, button from our main window. Dot get child name by the name of the button is button toggle, and the text block is tb counter so it's btn auto right and i will need to get access to my text block counter ghi dot line dot ui oops text block and we'll get child name by text block counter right next i will need to wire up the UI click. Uh, let's press event release tab. Oh, what's the difference between press and tab? Well, I'm just going to try tab. All right. So we'll wire up the button, and I will come to this later. Um. All right. So now we have two options to toggling our hardware LED. One is by pressing the uh, hardware push button as you can see in my previous blog post and I have just created another GUI button. I name it BTN button toggle and by clicking on the GUI uh, it should also uh, trigger the button the LED toggle. So since I'm uh, repeating the jobs uh, I will just create a function here white toggle LED uh, and I will just copy this code over and call this function over here and see it goes here right so every time we click on the uh, GUI toggle button it will toggle the LED every time we click on the hardware push button it will also toggle the LED right so on top of toggling the LED I would like to keep count on the number of uh, clicks I have did uh, let's create a private integer click count equal to zero let's put it to zero 
and every time I toggle the LED, I will need to uh, increment my click counter and I would like to show the clicks on my UI by showing the uh, my text block counter dot text change it to my click counter to string and do take note that uh, every update to the UI we need to call uh, an invalidate to refresh the U GUI so with this uh, let's try to build okay, with this I have actually uh, created an app, a .NET MF app uh, to actually uh, control the LED and keep count of number of clicks of my push buttons or the, the toggle I've made and uh, well I'm not sure whether this works let's try on the hardware I will try to record a uh, video versions later on how it works uh, till then thank you so it has deployed to my upright okay so everything looks good and well it works well so far I can see the toggle LED button it's working but um, I can't see my uh, my text block so what I will need to do here what's the font color back color so it should looks good so x230 well uh, after i compile and download the apps i uh, we did to uh, my test raptor i found out that everything works well except that um the text block tv counter doesn't show up so after a few trials i found out that uh, the font size generated by the light designer 9 was actually causing the problem uh, once I change um, the size back to 5 everything works out as planned so yep take note I'll record a video as I said uh, please uh, take a look at the actual uh, running program in the video below thanks